Hello, Albert Harris Wildcats. We're back in our butterfly garden today, and I want to show you a couple of things about our butterfly garden. If you would look, you can see we still have caterpillars out in the butterfly garden, and you can see that our milkweed seed pod has burst, and you can see the seeds, and they're getting ready to travel and they will self plant and then we will have more butterfly weeds in the garden. And that's wonderful because that is food for our butterflies and our caterpillars. And today we are going to read in honor of our caterpillar friends, we're gonna read Eric Call's The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is one of my favorite books and I love the illustrations he does. It makes the story come to life. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, 
one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. I hope you enjoyed Eric Carl's The Very Hungry Caterpillar as much as I did today. And in probably about 20 days, we will have monarch butterflies having emerged from their chrysalises and they will be flying south to Mexico. Thank you for joining me today.